The word for today, God's open doors too. The Apostle Paul said, there is a wide open door for a great work here, although many oppose me. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. In doing the will of God, you should anticipate opposition from those who are not privy to what God has shared with you or instructed you to do. Indeed, if you are accepted and applauded wherever you go, you should re-examine either the assignment you believe God has given you or the way in which you are carrying it out. You say, but didn't Jesus say that his yoke was easy? Yes, and he was talking about a comfortable fitting yoke around the neck of a hard-working ox that plowed the fields. The work required effort, but the yoke was comfortable. This means when God calls you to do something difficult, he will provide you with the grace and resources to do it. You say, but Satan is attacking me. Attack is a sign of respect. It means you represent a threat to the kingdom of darkness. And as you get closer to your God-given goal, Satan will probably intensify his opposition. But here's the good news. There is the blessing of God during and on the other side of the attack. And one more thought. Your greatest rewards will not come in this life, but in the life to come. And that's good because they won't just be temporal, they will be eternal. The hymnist wrote, To him that overcometh a crown of life shall be, he with the King of glory shall reign eternally. That's the word for today.